News this morning. Another instance of a child getting their hands on a loaded gun this morning. Now a toddler is recovering after accidentally shooting himself. Police say three year old Trayvon Tyson shot himself in the wrist at his apartment in Hermitage last night after finding his dad's 40 caliber handgun in a backpack. His dad was driving him to the hospital when he flagged down officers who rushed Trayvon to the hospital. He is expected to be okay. And over in Wilson County, a man is in jail after leading police on a chase through a normally quiet Mount Juliet neighborhood. Terrence Rice is facing multiple charges this morning. Officers say they attempted to pull him over along Lebanon Road around 8 last night, but he took off. He sped through neighborhood streets, but was eventually stopped at a dead end street off Teresa Drive. Rice remains in the Wilson County Jail at this hour. And more troubles for singer Chris Brown after he lands himself in familiar territory again. A 911 call from a woman claiming to be in danger led to a bizarre standoff outside Brown's home in Los Angeles. He was arrested hours later on suspicion of assault with a deadly weapon, but not before the singer posted several profanity lace tirades on social media. When you get the warrant or whatever you need to do, you're going to walk right up in here and you're going to see nothing, you idiots. Well, LAPD, in fact, did get that warrant yesterday afternoon and spent several hours searching the home. No word, though, on what they found inside. And what is typically a tropical paradise with perfect weather year round? Well, it's about to be a nightmare for vacationers and honeymooners alike. Hurricane Madeline, currently in Category 4, is barreling toward the big island of Hawaii right now. But get this, Hurricane Lester tracking right behind, right on the heels. Hawaii has not taken a direct hit from a hurricane in about 25 years. Islanders are preparing for days of heavy rain, flooding, and even mudslides.